Hey, what's up guys, Yusuf here from TechDroids and welcome back to another fun video on the channel. And with the launch of the Ryzen 5000 series and once I uploaded my you know, build recommendation with the 5600X, a lot of you guys were asking me for a build featuring the Ryzen 7 5800X. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a $2,000 Ryzen 7 5800X with the Radeon 6800XT as a graphics card, a full build recommendation. And for $2,000, I'll let you guys know what parts you should get and what kind of performance you'll expect if you do build this PC. So this is gonna be a full build recommendation and I'll help you out from the CPU to the motherboard to everything to complete this PC. And again, all the links to the parts that I talk about in this video will be linked down below to Amazon US. And those are the affiliate links. So if you wanna help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos, go ahead and buy from those. And apart from that, if you're interested in such PC builds, such technology related content, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well as hit the notification bell. Please do subscribe because there's lots of cool content coming in. And also if you guys are on Discord, please join the Discord server, which is linked down below. We have a you know, really nice community being built up with the Tech Droids you know, channel. All the subscribers are there, you know, talking to each other, hanging out, discussing PC builds like this or whatever you want to talk about. There's some nice stuff happening over at Discord. So yes, if you're on it, go ahead and join. The link is down below. But with that being said, let's get to this $2,000 Ryzen 7 5800X with the 6800XT build. That's going to give you really nice value, really killer performance, and not only for gaming, video editing, and live streaming, but basically anything you can think of. So that being said, let's get started. All right, so starting off with the parts for the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. Now this is the eight core 16 thread CPU with a 3.8 gigahertz base as well as a 4.7 boost. Now this is unlocked like every Ryzen processor ever, so you can overclock it. It's 105 TDP and there is no cooler included in the box. So you will have to get one for yourself and we'll talk about that in the video later down. But this supports PCI 4, it's based on the seven nanometer in you know, a technology. And in my opinion, even with the price increase, this CPU the Ryzen 7 5800X is going to retail for $449. I think it's still pretty good. I know AMD wants to make a little bit more money with the high performance, but the 5800X, in my opinion, is going to be a really nice CPU for creators, for gamers who want to do, you know, gaming in high resolution, as well as live streamers. People want to push their PC to the limits and get the most out of it. So if you, let's say, overclock this 5800X, you're going to get really nice performance. And $449, I think this is a really nice CPU. And to house that CPU for the motherboard, we've gone with the Gigabyte X570 Eorus Elite Wi-Fi. Now this is the X570 board, so obviously with the BIOS update, you can start using the 5000 series chips on it. And it's got all the basic you know, features like 2M.2 slots, USB Type-C, overclocking, 4 RAM slots, and just you know high bandwidth USB ports. You've got USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports on this one, and it's also got onboard Wi-Fi, so you don't have to buy you know something aftermarket. You can just use Wi-Fi on your PC itself. And for under $200, there's a really nice board, but let's say you want something from ASUS or MSI, I'll link those options down below as well, but this is a good starting point for this kind of a build. And as I said, there's no cooler included in the box. So to cool that beast of a CPU, that is the Ryzen 7 5800X, we've got the Corsair H100i RGB Pro XT. Now this is IQ supported. It's a 240 mm liquid cooler. So you're gonna get 220 mm fans and a 240 mm radiator. And you can use Corsair's IQ software to not only customize the RGB, but also monitor the stuff that's going on in your PC. And a 240 mm cooler for under $150. This is gonna retail for $120 in my opinion. Corsair is doing a really nice job and their coolers are really high quality. So it should be enough to not only keep the CPU stable, but you can also do some overclocking with this cooler on the CPU. And for $120, the Corsair H100i Pro XT RGB is a really nice starting point. Now for RAM in this build, we've gone with 32 gigabytes of Corsair's Vengeance Pro RGB RAM. This is 3600 megahertz memory, so two 16 gigabytes takes to, you know, totaling up to 32 gigabytes. And that's gonna be a lot of memory to not only play games, but also do things like Premiere Pro After Effects, high-end video editing, things that require a lot of memory. And I know that softwares these days do eat up a lot of RAM. So again, 32 gigabytes for $150. If you want more in the future, you can add more, but I think 32 gigabytes is gonna be, be more than enough for basically all types of users. But let's say you want more, you can definitely upgrade in the future. Now for some really fast storage in this build, we've gone with the PNY CS2130. It's M.2 NVMe SSD, one terabyte in capacity. You can not only have your you know, operating system on this one, but also your you know frequently used softwares as well as games, games that you play a lot of 
the times very often in the day you can have all of that here and it's going to be really fast this ssd is going to give you speeds up for the 3000 megabytes per second in terms of read and write and for 110 dollars i think this is a really nice ssd for a high-end build like this now to accompany that you know m.2 ssd we have our mass storage which is also a one terabyte ssd this time around from silicon power this is a sata ssd for again 89 dollars you're gonna get you know just normal speeds and you can have all your big files over here so one terabyte should be more than enough if let's say you want more storage you can add hard drives or you know bigger ssds in the future but i think this is a really nice starting point you can have your you know big files like some of the bigger games that you don't want to have on the main ssd you can have it here your project files your work files all can reside here and again this is a really nice ssd from silicon power and 89 dollars i think is really good value as well now to power this whole build up you've gone with the thermal take tough power 850 this is a 850 watt power supply which is 80 plus gold certified it's fully modular comes with a 10 year warranty so you're covered basically everywhere and for around 129 dollars this is a really nice power supply that not only can power this whole build up right now also leave some headroom for future upgrades so let's say you want to upgrade the graphics card or move on to a better cpu in the future all of that will be possible without changing the power supply itself and it's fully modular with the 80 plus gold certifications your you know parts are going to be really safe so you don't have to worry about anything there now for the graphics card and the heart of this build we've gone with amd's radeon 6800 xd this is a new gpu a part of their 6000 series you know graphics cards and this has 16 gigabytes of gddr6 memory 72 compute units 72 ray accelerators and this is a really fast card not only for gaming but also video editing and content creation because it supports a lot of the new you know video codecs and formats and encoding and decoding them really fast you've got usb type c on board for you know connecting modern day monitors and vr equipment and stuff like that i feel like the 6800 xt is a really nice 4k gaming card at high refresh rate as well no problem you can play esports games AAA titles maxing them out at ultra settings and looking at all the high fidelity details that is also supported in this card and for around 700 dollars is what the price is going to be for aftermarket cards in my opinion i think this is a really nice graphics card for this build or any high-end build in 2020. now to complete this whole build up and for the case we've gone with thermal takes v200 it's an atx mid tower case with you know tempered glass not only on the side but also on the front it's got three rgb fans towards the front pre-installed also a black rear fan which you can swap out for an rgb one as well really nice quality case really nice looking case good airflow in my opinion good cable management and for under 100 dollars this retails for 80 dollars i think it should be able to house all the parts inside this build and also make them look really nice and you also have a corsair rgb cooler so this pc at the end of the day is going to look bonkers so the thermal take v200 is the case for this build now that's about it for the parts and yes you can change around stuff according to your budget and your requirement but in terms of performance this you know ryzen 7 5800x with 32 gigabytes of ram and the 6800 xt this pc is going to be a 4k beast you can max out games get buttery smooth fps if you're an esports gamer if you're into competitive esports you can you know play games at 240 hz 360 hz with the newer monitors that are coming out with you know asus and some other brands this is a capable pc not only for now but also the future and if you're into content creation live streaming 3d workloads any sort of a you know task you throw at this pc it's going to do it without any problems without any hiccups and yes you can get really nice fps not only in games but also performance in you know work stuff in content creation you're going to have really fast render times and stuff like that as well so that's about it for this build guys that's the kind of performance you can expect mm -hmm. but apart from that i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this build was helpful if it was go ahead and smash the like button as well as go ahead and subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this build what you will change are you going to consider the ryzen 7 5800x for your next build the 6800 xd as your graphics card all that let me know in the comments down below subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads and also go ahead and join the discord server guys there's a lot of good stuff happening there the link is down below be a part of the community but but that all out of the way my name is been yusuf you guys have been awesome stay awesome keep smiling i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out